Today I want to talk to you about a myth that continues to persist in the mortgage and real estate industry that keeps a lot of people from buying a home. What I want to talk about today is how long you need to be at your job in order to qualify for a mortgage. So if that's something that interests you, please stay tuned. We're going to jump right in. Well, what's up everyone? It's Channing. You know y'all are my favorite people. Today's video is going to be busting mortgage myths, specifically the mortgage myth that you need two years of work history in order to purchase a house, in order to get a mortgage. That you need to, sorry, you need to work at the same job for two years. I hear it a lot. It's one of the most searched for blog posts that we have on our website. So I know it's something that a lot of people are anxious or curious about. And so a lot of people believe wrongly that you need to be at the same job for two years in order to qualify for a mortgage. And guys, that's simply not true. You need two years of employment history, but it does not need to be in the same job or at the same job. It is helpful if it's in the same line of work, but that's not always a requirement either. So let's talk about it. Like why do we hear this? Well, Two-year work history is part of, it's a requirement of your mortgage loan application. And so somewhere along the way, things got hairy and people started believing that you needed to be at the job for two years in order to qualify for a mortgage. But that's not true. Now, there are some requirements that we do need to discuss, but as long as you have a two-year work history and you've been at your current job typically for at least a month, and conventional loans, you don't even have to be there for a month, you could just have an offer letter, you can qualify for a mortgage even if you haven't been at the same job for two years. Now what happens is there's a couple of different scenarios. Let's talk about the most common one. You've changed jobs, right? You've, you've gotten a better job or a job in a different industry, something that you wanted and you wanted and, and, and you enjoy it more and now you want to buy a house. That's fine. As long as you've been at that job for at least a month, if you're doing like an FHA or government loan, or you've got an offer letter if you're doing a conventional loan, it should be fine as long as overall you have a two-year work history. Now, the thing is, if you had a gap in your employment between quitting the job and the other job, and let's say that gap was like three months, six months, typically six months or longer, now things can change a little bit and you need to be on that new job for six months before you qualify because you had a gap. And so they're gonna wanna see consistency and stability of income because you had the gap. Now that applies to FHA and some of the government loans like, like uh, USDA and VA kind of has their own thing. But if you didn't have a six month or longer gap, chances are as long as you've been on that job for at least a month, you're gonna be okay. And again, with conventional, we just need an offer letter, like especially if it's salary. Now, where some of this comes into play is if you start a new job and you're getting overtime at the new job, but you didn't make overtime at the old job, well, no, we can't use your overtime because that does require a two-year history. But when we're just talking about your base pay and your regular salary, yes, we can use that in most cases, even if you haven't been there for two years. Now, what happens if, say, you don't have a two-year work history? It gets a little tougher, right? Because there's a couple of reasons why this would happen. If you were in high school and you just got your first job, we may be able to work around that because you can't have a two-year work history. You were in high school. And so they may want to see you at work for six months, but it, it's really up to the underwriter. If you were in college, same thing. Was your college degree in line with what you're doing? Let's say you went to nursing school and now you're a nurse. That's easy peasy. It's not a big deal. Maybe you were a stay-at-home mom for the last few years and now you're back into the workforce. Well, there are options for that. You don't have to be at your job for two years. You may have to be there for six months, depending on the loan program that you are working with. So no, you do not, do not have to have a two year history at the same job in order to purchase a home. It's just that there are other factors, right? You may not be able to use your commission, definitely wouldn't be able to, probably can't use your overtime unless you have a history of overtime. And so if you worked you know, in our area locally, uh, refineries and plant work are popular. So if you worked for one uh, company and then you move to another, but you have a two year history of working in that industry, let's say you're a welder or a pipe fitter, then you're fine. And if you have a two year of history of overtime, we can probably even use your overtime. 
So don't not buy a house this year because you're listening to fraudulent bad information. You don't need to stay at that, you don't need to be at the same job for two years in order to qualify. There are many ways around it. It's one of the biggest myths that continues to persist in the mortgage industry and I wish it would just die. But I guess if it didn't, there would be no need for me to do content like this. So as always, I'm Channing. If you like this content, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I am consistently uploading videos every week, multiple videos a week, because I'm trying to help people just like you learn more about how to be successful in the real estate industry in 2023. Thanks again.